Hello, everybody. Good evening to you all. This is Adama once again. My darling sisters, how is everybody? How are you doing? This evening, my dear sisters, um, any Riani Abon Komobi. Nah, and Komona Niabo in the afternoon. I've had a CC on the phone, okay? So, um, Memo on Wankasa Akasa, all right? It's very important for us to talk. Talking the day has to go on. You'll see a kasa 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 kasa. You'll see a kasa to say ako at your seal. And my dear sister, I wouldn't, uh, her name is Madame Ixa. Okay, Madame XXL. There's no need to say me bonidin. In Timia Monron Kasa Akasa. And then now uh, you would also learn something out of it. That is, sister, yeah, me, they never be too sore or kasay. Only you know, I worry. I'm a worry, you know, on you know. And our baby one because that is the first child. And she decided to go to the family house to deliver. Now, I call the family house to deliver. My husband complained, say he can't cook, he can't take care of his uh, his own. I uh, mean, the biyane, the niyamasi, na 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 na. And the lady talked to the mommy. Okasa the mommy, and the mommy decided, say okay, what they're going to do is the younger sister would move in and stay with the husband. Sister, the girl one, it's a bit noisy. So um, um, I have the CC here. Memo on Kasa can store a kakra. I have to say I then ye ye kakra every into sweetheart. Me pacho kasa ma me wife. Okay, good evening, Michelle. Um, actually, my voice is brushed kakra ma me wife. My voice is brushed kakra wife. Okay, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So the problem started when I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Um, I discovered I have contracted an infection that was called HPV. Mm -hmm. So the doctor told me it was an ST. Yeah. But according to my husband, he knows no one other than me. Sweetheart, so me patch on my voice and brush roll still. Me, me, it's very low. Your voice is very low. Hello. But, yeah, my name is Kasa Dinpa. Hello. With all your force. Once again, Mr. Kasa, Hello. with all your force. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, hold on. Yeah, so my husband told me he knows no one other than me. So, Alhamdulillah, we've got it's a problem or we've got a solution to my problem. So I went to my family to deliver, and after a month, my husband complained of he not being able to cater for himself, like cooking, doing the laundry, and other cleaning. So he pleaded for me to let my sister come to watch for him a day. So I told my sister to tell my mom about it. And she also told me she'll be going to help him out. So not knowing, he forced her to have sex with him on that day. But then I asked my sister afterwards when she came home. I called her and she was like, she's done with everything. And she's now home. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. So as time goes on, I came to my normal response after my maternity leave and something told me to at least follow their communications so that was when i got to know the reflecting each other mm -hmm. so i brought my kids on sister to sister and i had all the advices i took some and i had a family meeting during the weekends. So that was when my sister confirmed my mother and I and an uncle that yeah, truly really, they are having an affair. And it's not once that my husband has slept today. But then the case was a bit um, shocking because I trusted my sister so much. Frankly speaking, I didn't trust my husband to that extent. But then I trusted my sister so much to the extent of she telling me whatever that happened in her life. So after everything, I got to realize that was the reason why.
by my husband surprise them with a new on some other monies and other stuff. So we called my husband. My mother called my husband. Initially he want he couldn't confirm. He was trying to prove stubborn. But as time confirmed it and he was like I'm the cause of everything because I haven't been given the peace in the house. That was the reason why he did that to my sister. But then come to think of it, where was I when he started doing that? I wasn't anywhere close at me. So when he's talking about me not giving him peace, what is he trying to tell me? That is number one. And point number two is there isn't any other day that we do fight. When you're fighting, it's only for his humanizing issues. Frankly speaking, I haven't seen him talking to any woman. But then, we do talk about some humanizing issues that he was having. That was the only thing. So now, um, I'm at the edge of um, filing for the to have my sanity and at the same time have my peace of mind to take care of my only child. So that's the case now. Okay. Thank you very much, my, my sister. But my first question to you is, for how many months or weeks were you away? I was away for three months. Three months, my sister. Three months. So you left your yes, husband alone months. for three good months. And that three months, you know, your sister was living in the house with your husband. No, no, she wasn't living with, with him. Mm -hmm. He told me to go to his parents, to his parents, not my parents, okay. to his parents to deliver. He'll come back for me after a month. So after a month, he wasn't in Ghana. So he told me to still stay with them. So he'll come for me after the month. Mm -hmm. So... Now, he came to Ghana and he was like, he can't come from me. He's having, he's facing some financial shift. So that was, what me to plead on the help of my sister to come to me out. So my sister only went there for a day. She didn't even speak to her. That's but it. how can you be sure that she didn't sleep over my sister? I actually called her. I actually called her and she was back home. Was she, then, was she at home? And now say, sweetheart, sorry to cut you. When you called her, was she at home and then you, like you could, what proof did you have that she was at home or and she just confirmed to you that she was at home? She confirmed to me that she was no. at home. No, I don't buy that story. I, I don't buy that story. Uh, I, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying that maybe your, uh, it's about your sister. I say, what sister? No, no. Like she faked out, said yes, said yes. Um, she was um, she was at home. But trust me, if uh, if if you were to go deeper and dig into those stories, uh, you'd realize that your sister wasn't home then, because they had planned everything. On may I assure campus said they had planned that to send you away so that they can also enjoy the moment whilst you were not around, my sister. You see, sorry to say, some of the biggest mistakes that we do as women is when you want to have your first child. Gone were the days when your first child, you go to your mother, you go to your family house, and then they help you how to take care of these kids and how to also be um, a caring mother. First time you are battling your kids and everything, you know, the 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 the, the fear in you that something might happen to your kid and everything. We should all learn from sad you will see. Look, those of us abroad, we don't have our parents here, but some of us have had kids and everything. How did we also survive? You know, Ada, yes, sweetheart. Um, I wasn't in support of that idea. It I was, was his idea. It, he was the one who, honestly, like... Yes. He, yes, he told me to go to his parents. Since it's his first child, he, didn't, he wouldn't want me to deliver... My, by myself without the help of anyone closer and it was during the lockdown too so he told me to use the opportunity to go 
I was initially against that, but it was as if I was against his family or didn't like his family. So we had some issues and I had to go. I didn't want to be stubborn. So I went and that was when it started. So when I came back to my normal play, mm-hmm. my siblings came around and my sister too was around. So that was when all the things continued. My sister. So continued from when my sister. Started. My next question to you is, when you were away for three months, did you decide yourself to come back or he asked you to come back? Um, I decided to come back, but he didn't allow that. He told me to spend more time. To spend more time over there? Yeah, he'll come for me when he comes to Ghana. You know, may Allah forgive everybody who is also doing something similar and watching us. You're very, very sad. It's very, very sad. Your own biological sister, somebody that you call a sister, Obia, you know that Sebi Sebi and Newini Riasima, somebody can replace you. You know, my sister, there's something we also have to know in life. Oh, ba, aqualano, a yawo dia, o be a young cook more be man a pointin tin and aqualani yenedia. Even if you give better, your kid doesn't belong to only you. O be a young cook more man a pointin tin in life. That person is the what is the biologist, mm-hmm. is the is the is the what is the mother of that kid. We've had women who have had kids, but they died and o be en a eshe and qualani mom, and sister. We should all learn from Saadi Ewisi. No matter how your your sister's husband will tempt you, whatever he will take to tempt you, Sikeo, Anokasadeo, my sister, is a taboo. A taboo is a taboo. These are some of the things we should never in our life even try it. And so when he came back, and he, at, at what point also did you start... Suspecting your husband that something fishy happened behind you. Was it was it that sorry to say, sorry to go deep? Was it that he wasn't sleeping mm-hmm. with you? Mm-hmm. Or his behavior towards you changed? And now say he was so friendly with your sister and he was not friendly with you. How did you know say this thing and now it's happening? Because at least you have a clue as a woman, if something is going wrong, definitely you know your husband better. You know, so now my husband wasn't like this, there's something wrong. And at what point did you start suspecting everything? Mm, actually, I knew my husband wasn't so faithful with me okay. when it comes to chatting women. But then I can't testify because I've never seen him with a woman before. But then I know he plays much with women on social media on all platforms i know that's for sure so something prompted me to check on my sister's phone to know what she was really going on in her life because i've registered my fingerprints on her phone without letting her know so one day i took her phone and i was glancing through and i saw my husband's name saved with some love images so those love emojis were blue and yellow. So I quickly went onto their page and I got to know that they've been making video calls, audio calls, WhatsApp messages. She's been sending pictures to him. So that was when I got to know that there's something going on. So she followed a chat as time goes on. So I, w- I got to know that they do chat about love, how his day is doing. He can't even chat here as early as 4 a.m. So I was I was a bit curious because I was like, how would he chat this girl at this time of the day, at this odd hours? Why should you? Why should you chat her every day? So it got me, like, I really got curious and I wanted to know. So that was when I started investigating their charts. So since last year. Hmm. Since last year. <laughs> since last year. 
So what is the relationship between you and your sister right now? Hmm. Now I'm I'm disappointed and there's no trust between us again. Like, do, do do you talk to each and other? And she doesn't seem remorseful. No, we like initially she isn't a type who really calls me. But then I wonder how she manages to call my husband, how they chat and other stuff. And from the look of the environment and everything, she doesn't seem remorseful. I'm so mad at her, but then I need to leave them. I need to leave a site in order for me to have a peace for my... For her to have what? I just... I left her site in order for me to have a peaceful mind. Oh, mind. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Me... I'm, I'm suspecting that maybe your husband even knew your sister before you even got married to your husband. No. They didn't like, know each other. Are you sure? No, they didn't know each other. Yeah, that one, I'm very sure. They didn't even know each other. They didn't know each other. But my problem was, when he came in the picture, I was seriously having someone whom I wanted to marry. So if you were interested in my sister, why didn't you tell us? Because I told him point blank that there was actually someone whom I'm planning on getting married to. But then Allah knows best. Allah knew what would have happened then and other stuff. So I'm still confused and I just don't know. Okay. There's no to life. Okay. And uh, you, you, like, you informed your mother of everything that happened? Yeah, I informed her. Uh-huh. I actually told her, I need to discuss something with her. So I had earlier on planned with my uncle to come within some time. I gave him a specific time. So... He came around and he was like, okay, fine, since we are around, let's start the communication. Mm -hmm. So we started and my mom was like, we shouldn't involve my sister. She will know how to handle it. She will start asking her questions and other stuff. So I was like, no, you can't do that alone because I've studied all these things for the past month now, since last year. So if you tell us keep news or keep it to it's not going to break. So poor hair right in the middle of us. For us to do what's really going on. So I thought it was only um, blessed. I didn't know they even had so many affairs. But then when she came, she started, when we asked her the question, she was shocked. Because how could we find out about Whatever they do, delays. Auntie, can you hear me? I can hear you very well, sis. Yeah. Because after everything, after all those chats, everything, they do delays, they clear their feet. So she was shocked. How could these people find out? So we interrogated her, and my mom asked if they really made love to each other. So she sat for some minutes and she started talking and it was a blue it was really a blue it was a sleepless night for the whole family wow. so she started talking and initially she was like it's happening for only once mm -hmm. so after several interrogations we got to know that it wasn't only once mm -hmm. and she was now used to it or she was now used to Let's see, befriending my husband, something like that. Mm. But then my mom still insists we shouldn't tell my dad. My sister. Her own reasons. Well, for honestly, to be very honest with you, what if your dad also gets to know and he gets disappointed in you, your mother, and in your sister? What if? Somebody prompts your daddy, this and this is what has happened. And would your father be able to forgive your mother? Uh, let's take it from that angle. If you're the, you know, 
enkon konsa fo wo ba bia enkon konsa fo de omugu ba bia nti ena me ne wo kasa se wo papa gets to know say we anyway any see ya na se wo se he's not going to forgive your mother because this is something that should not be hidden from your daddy after all he's your father ona ne wo ah Without your father, and I don't think say your mother could have fathered you or, or even mothered you alone. It was both of you. It was both parents who came together to have you. And I'm pretty sure when you were getting married, your father was also part of it. And uh, wasn't your daddy part yeah. of it? So yeah. why sh why should she cover up because of her rival? She doesn't want her rival to know. What has the rival got to do with this hot issue? At this stage, my sister, there is no, there's nothing like secret. The harm has already been done, but your daddy has to know because this is too much for you at this, at this stage of your life, my sister. You are too young to suffer from such a very horrible and um, horrible experience and uh, whatever has gone between your own biological sister and your own husband. It's a very, very, very horrible thing to talk about. But at least if your father is also involved, that, because look, your husband will say, even if your marriage is not going to work out, he's on his own. He's, he's gone, what to say, he's, he's, he's had both sisters and he's, proud, he's probably proud of himself. So, okay, I've slept with both sisters, intermediate. Me, that is what I'm doing. But your sister who is also there, there's nothing that has been done. No, not, nobody. What would your mommy tell your sister? Nothing. Maybe she would just look at your sister and say, hmm, next time don't do that again. It's not enough. We have to have your father. Your father will rather take actions. You see, that is why there are some things that is meant for only men. There are some areas that is just for men and women to just sit back and enjoy the ride. At this point, you know, my sister, at this point, you no. Know, my sister, your mother is doing the biggest mistake of her, her life. She's trying to cover her own self, cover her kids. And at the same time, she's ruining her marriage between herself. And she's cutting that, she's cutting that, um, that, um, how do you call it? Uh, that trust between your father and herself. Huh? This, this issue, no matter how long it takes me, your father will get to know of it. And if your father gets to know of it, it's going to be something else. Your father will be like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with you. Obeka trauma may say he's done with your mother. Your mother will just sit and then she'll start crying. Then she'll be like, ah, I didn't want, I didn't want this to come out. I wanted to protect my kids. Nanani, nanana, patati, patata. And to my sister, look, the way you talk, you are a very, very, very smart lady. You are very intelligent and you are dealing with this hot issue with diplomacy and with too much maturity. I respect you for your maturity. I respect you for intelligence. And I also respect you because, you see, in a way, you being empowered is also helping you in a way not to be what, distracted by what is going on. You are empowered, right? Yeah. You are working. And to work, you, know, you know, so definitely what you are getting out of your work now. It can take care of yourself and your, 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 your baby. And so you see, my dear sister, you see one strong point of being empowered. Huh? Her marriage is on the verge of collapsing, but she has her job that is backing her up. That is giving her strength. Her own biological mother who has to also put sad situation way to table this hot issue to discuss it with her uncles with her with her father and the rest of the family to have what a family gathering so that asim will say will stop what if your sister in her mind and this is normal nobody scolded her nothing so she feels that okay this is normal it means that i can sleep or whatever do you people know what she's going to bring next do you know Echna? how old is your sister She'll be 17 this year. What? 17. 17? She's not even 18. Do you know no. that she's a minor? She's underage, though. 
I'm surprised. Hey! Some people are wicked though. My sister, if you can, I don't know if you are going to meet your, your, your father this weekend. Tell your father you need to talk to him. Find an elderly man who will escort you. And then you go and sit quietly and talk to what and talk to your father. So at because at this point your mother is not there for you. She's not defending you. Your mother did not save your marriage. Your mother did not fix what is wrong. Your mother did not put that so that that uh, how do you call it? That um how do you call it? Uh, how do you call that even Minim said me kind of brought for Say what is between one and what's the Your mother hasn't fixed it. And told mommy what to her son I will show and I will show when you know. She's destroying her own family and she's not even seeing it say she's destroying her family. Be mane de ono de. One nam ne baby. Obit me a worry or baby at any time. But what about the family? Blood is thicker than water. What about the family? My sister, you need to find an elderly man who respects your father, who can also accompany you so that you go and have this information delivered to your father. Your father will take it from there, my sister. Okay. Okay. Thank you. you have I'll to. So. You look, you are a very smart lady, my sister. Yes, 17 years. 17 years. Stupid girl. 17 years you are sleeping with your big sister's husband. Stupid girl. I don't know who she is. But she's even lucky that I don't know her. And could you tell me this one can be the born in this one? Stupid girl again. 17 years. You are flirting and sleeping around with your own sister's husband without any shame. And that that husband of yours, I don't know if I should say he's an idiot and I said, yeah. I don't have any right to insult anybody. But same way saying it's more than insulting. They are both animals. Or meaning that they are animals. Because a normal human being in her normal state of mind won't do this. Even if it's your sister who is what? Who is um who is tempting your husband? How old is your husband? Forty. No, you will testify. Wash, wash. Thirty-five year old or no so so. Thirty-five year old man. Na sebe sebe. Won't mean fan a show and enter na baby back home. Everywhere he has to enter. Everywhere he has to taste. And or he say forty dia. Then I'm sorry. I don't know what of sickness or the what the air ban him. Thirty-five years. Thirty-five years and seventeen years. And they are seeing that my sister tell your father, catch your papa, catch your papa. Your father has to hear this. Yes, he has to hear it. And then when you when you inform your daddy, your daddy would also take his delegation to go and inform your husband's family that this is what has happened. Because your husband's family side, you know, nobody knows what has happened though. What you want to say in the dark? There is nothing. Nobody is reacting. Nobody is telling you anything. You people are just sitting there. And who is feeling the pain? You are the one who is taking more of the pain. Because I bet you, your stupid sister is still there with that man exchanging messages. And they are happy that this is happening. So that they will have their own free way. And then be doing their stupid things. But my sister, you are the one who has to show them, say, yes, you are a matured lady. You are not going into this. You are not going to call the man and insult him. Ah, you are an idiot. Da, 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 da. No, sister. Let your daddy settle this for you, sister. Okay. My sister, please do that. Mau papa and settle sasem with him. O papa be sending a delegation. Ako be mane busuya for her. Ako catch on the kind of man. You should have all your proof also. You have some proof, right? Who proof can Yeah, now the only thing I can do to, or I can do to have him around, to have my dad around, is to let him meet us 
or he should come he isn't also around but then my husband has assured my family that he'll be coming um, within next months he gave a specific day that i don't want to let it out so i'll tell my dad about everything in order for him to be around on that same day and if possible with his family members Thank with you. some of my husband's family members very well very well my sister look use all your words your intelligence to also deal with this issue with calmness you've already won the battle mashallah your husband married you as a virgin my sister i am so proud of you i am so proud of you as a sister and i feel so bad and terrible that it's rather unfortunate that i didn't meet you earlier i would have given you to my big brother hey virgin now who bear my way when you're not stupid bear my quarter bottle what to her won't mean for sure no ends now baby back baby i do what you should for baby i do what you should from to step in baby you have to have what you have to have not the chuchu the chuchu my sister thank you for two no look meet your daddy talk to your daddy and tell your daddy that please he should do you this this favor he should what he should on calm it down and this is what you have to tell him what can you natural papa nicely trust me your father is older than you he's smarter than you and you are even lucky and happy to have your daddy alive my daddy he like he's my background and i i feel so bad telling him seriously but then i know you stand even if you need to defend him that one that's an assurance are you the first one all my life yes i'm his first one all my life it has been my dad being my dad mm -hmm. i've been having issues with my mom up and down and other stuff but then my dad has always been my dad and he's always there for me whether rain or shine so i'm not afraid of telling him and i know he can do more than what i can even imagine with the hope of allah look look my sister let's give it to this lady she's moved you look this is the kind of woman that i want on this platform nitrimo what's it what she's moved it's me we move we move we move we move in the comment in the comment and comment in the comment me ka onan se nka wukunu ko jina mania and come first can you to chana den se chinchinga ma no stupid man baby i know the name and then they be a very disgraceful some men they don't even know what it means to be a married man everywhere baby but what should i say when you be a sister talk to your daddy and when you talk to your daddy i'm pretty sure something good will come out of it i know your mother would come and apologize to your daddy that is between them that is not your problem what they, what you have to do is this is what has happened and nobody knows what's your whole you can live with this for the rest of your life sweetheart your daddy would have to hear it and when your daddy hears it he would deal with your mother later that is between them and no they don't worry about that crap don't bother about that say your daddy is going to say this no 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 your daddy and your mommy they know each other so well so they will deal with each other. That is their problem. But you tell your daddy this and this and this and that is what has happened between your husband and your own sister. And ever since your sister hasn't even bothered to even send you a message to tell you she's sorry. Nothing. Not even to talk of mentioning my name. I've been in the house for, there for about two days and Ever since I told her I'm done with her because of what she's done, because she could have killed me. Ever since I told her that, that was it. That was it. Not even a good morning or whatever. And I'm okay with that because I'm not ready to settle in any issue with her. Is she working? Come again. Is she working? She's a student. See, the difference between you is you are empowered. You can take care of yourself. And trust me, this guy will dump your sister. 
and she will come back she will come back crying in the house that yes this is what your husband has because it's not going to work out allah doesn't want people who look that bitterness you have in you now that pain that you have in you definitely karma is a bitch your sister would live to regret and that man would also live to regret that he will never find a woman like you in his life my sister to so. find a woman even he even he, if he goes to kaaba even if he goes to Mecca to go around the Kaaba, he's not going to find a woman like you. I'm not kissing him, but it's the truth. I once said that to a sister of mine. That's a friend of mine here in Paris. She got married and the husband was bullying her. The husband was abusing her. The lady it also was. She's a university student, Waco Square. She has a potter job. She works for this, um, um, how do you call it, American company here in France as an engineer and everything. The lady was like, hey. I got married to you, but if you are here to bully me, brother, me sorry, I can't be in that marriage. They had one kid, and the lady filed for divorce. They divorced for four years. For four years, the man was changing women like his potter. Said they're in a spot and a boxer show city, and he was changing women like that because no woman could support that man. Could just just be with that man. It was just impossible. So I said to my friend, I said, look, even if this guy, even if this guy goes to Mecca and asks Allah to give him a wife like you, he's not going to get. As I talk to you, the guy has remarried the same lady. They've come back together and they have a second child. My sister, continue with your prayers. Never will Allah leave you, my sister. Because look, you've respected your husband why would I say you respected your husband? Because one one didn't You didn't insult your husband. I know you still love your husband. That is why you talk about it, but you I, I, I listen to your words. I know there is still love in your heart. It's only Allah who will decide if this man is going to be what your ex husband or he's going to be your husband. Because marriage how matters did. You know. It's very difficult to talk about it. It's only Allah knows. Maybe you are asking for a divorce, but mm -hmm. if Allah says it's not going to be a divorce, maybe there won't be a divorce. So I pray that. But what if now, if there wouldn't be any divorce, would there be trust in this marriage at all? Would there be love? So there wouldn't I think be. In other, there wouldn't be. So in order for us to not. Um, bring forth children in this world to come on them. Why should, why can't we separate, go our own ways and then have a peaceful life ahead of us? Exactly. Because I'm, I'm now like, there isn't any love, but I, I still respect him. Mm -hmm. After all, he's the father of my child. My child. I still respect him for that. That's very good. But there isn't any love and i'm afraid i might hurt him when i continue on with him sorry i'm afraid of that i said i might i'm afraid i might hurt him when i continue with him yeah That's because the... seeing him anytime you feel like yeah okay. i understand it's seeing him every time will even irritate me and wow i don't want to be a cause of anything i don't want to hear him no you should just go his way okay so when do you plan seeing your daddy mm, within the weekends think i might go to him i might go to him within the weekends does he live with your mother he lives with a but then he traveled for a location and he doesn't know when he's coming back. Your so, dad, right? Yes, please. Okay. Now you should you should you should be you should be calm and um so ever since your mommy also hasn't hasn't um looked for any solution to reconcile your sister and uh, your yourself, nothing has been done to just have oh, this really? No, no. I just spoke with my mom this afternoon and she's mm -hmm. still insisting on me not holding any prejudice against my sister because she is young and naive. 
I still don't buy that idea because if you are young and I we just stand in front of Allah on judgment day and tell Allah that your daughter is young and I would you be the judge or would you be a lawyer to your daughter on judgment because it's happened without her presence. I told my mom that that happened without her presence. So we shouldn't be the ones withstanding them. That's when that happened. And here's the case whereby I'm the one having to see. I started stating the proof in front of my sister and she couldn't even deny one big fact. She couldn't. So it meant whatever I told her, whatever that I said in front of her, absolutely speak that nothing but the truth. And here's the case whereby you are defending the daughter. Wow. Meanwhile, you are not even around. I wasn't around. You even told me, you told the whole world that I didn't want to accept some of our children. Here's the case where I did uh, that what we are told to do. She destroyed my marriage and she brought him to me. But I've left the marriage to my husband and my sister. If they can continue with whatever they started, alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm, I'm not against them. But then I'm no longer against them. I told my sister. Mm -hmm. I told how, her, how, how many are you? How many are you? You are the first and your sister, you said she's the last. How many are you? Are you four or are you three? We are three. Three? Yes. Is the second born also a boy? No. It's a, a girl? Yeah. So, this quick question. So, if your, your kid sister decided to to move in and help your husband with um, his um, his um, his washing and cooking. Where was your Where was your second sister? She's the youngest. Who is the youngest? We were four. We were four, but then the one right after me died. But no, I mean no. after you. Who who after you? You have another sister, right? Before the one who is flirting with your husband. No, no. She's the other sister, and the last. Your the one flirting with your husband. Let me call her Madam B. So Madam B is the second born. Yes. And you have another the third born. born. Yeah, we were four, but then she isn't the second born as the second born. She's the third born because the second mm -hmm. born is so gone. Oh. So she's the third born, and we have the. Okay, and the younger yeah. one, why why didn't the younger one move in? How old is the younger one? 15 thereabouts, right? No, please. She'll be 17. Oh, okay. But your sister is too young to start sex, so 17, no? A certain term, oh. Auntie, that story is a story for some other time. Okay. Okay. Much respected. Much respected. Anyway, thank you so much, my sister. I think this is a big lesson. Oh. This is a big lesson to all of us, including me, myself, Adama. It's a lesson to all of us to listen. When you are pregnant and your husband is pushing you, go, go, go. My sister, sometimes no kasa wo tena fi ho na in change she. O ma me so betin abara betena ofi ho abo a. Some of these men they take that advantage when their wives are pregnant. They say na e na ko. When you go stay there for 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 3 months. 3 months no kan papa na nye and take no kan po say one friend and say madam bra I've missed you. But when you are away did he come to visit you for that 3 months no? Oh, yeah, when I gave this, he was there, he was, he spent about a week. But after that, after that, the three months, was he coming back and forth? No, he wasn't because he was so at work. But no, my sister, how can he say he was at work? He wasn't at work, my sister. You can't say he was at work. Look, your sister and your husband, and they planned it so well. They planned everything so well. Because if he was at work, 
Every weekend he comes to your place, or every weekend he was coming home, all right? No, it's every month. Okay, every every month, every month he was coming home. But for uh, aside coming to see the baby for the first time, he didn't come after that for the three months. Ah, my sister. He planned everything with your sister. Everything was planned. Was so yeah, the me the nook or two hundred make a shark or any first time, yeah. The rest of the time now, nah, no, it's between you and I. Everything was planned. But allow punish these two people, my sister. Have heart, okay? You are a very strong lady and I admire you so much. I haven't met you, but I admire your courage. I love the way you are. I love your attitude. You are so matured. Huh? Just be strong for your baby. Huh? One day you would sit back and you'd be like, wow, I've been a very strong mother. Allah would definitely also bring you only good things your way, my sister. I know that listening to stories like this, it makes me feel so bad because I'm equally a woman. But what I can do is to encourage you. May may encourage you. Now my son show him one thing. Say it did this. These stories it didn't start from you. And you should also know that I'm a bit older than you. Now if it were to be me, me Adama, and I would jam ho for one month. Now me who say what chuchu chuchu ho. Now when to say when to say when you straight straight to my main country, I'm supposed to say me about but that's my packing me niama. Now my bah if you ho. Yeah, you be as if you ho me no neti. Yes. Surprise. Auntie, auntie, that oh, oh, it's my year. That is if you are with your parents, but then you are with your in-laws, and you do as they say. Hey. That was a big thing. Yes. Mm. You are with your in-laws, so you do as they say. You can't go willingly unless they tell you, to. unless they 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 pack you, unless they bring you to your husband. So that is it. Well, yeah. me personally, I haven't lived like that with my in-laws before. And it's something that I would never do also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm um, sorry to say, I also love my in-laws so well, but I don't like somebody to dictate what I have to do. Because I also have my liberty. I have my rights. And even if we are Africans, but uh, we should leave people to live the way they want to live and how they want to live their lives. Unfortunately, when you marry into families in Africa, they decide what you have to do. But they also forget that they also have daughters. They also have sisters who would also go into marriage, but they expect them to be treated differently. How is that possible? They should do unto others as, as they want others to do unto their kids. My sister, take heart and uh, also let us have the feedback as the little information also flows so that it will be like a follow-up for this video the a follow-up so that we would also know how things are progressing on your side what i say you are a very very no smart lady continue to be who you are and never give up on your empowerment okay Inshallah. Yes, okay. and, and sweethearts to the much. baby is a baby boy right Yes, please. Yes, yeah, sweetheart, the baby boy. So proud of you, my sister. Okay? Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, darling. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. <clears throat> okay, let me cut this line. My dear sisters, where do you be a soon? Be a at a cra. Be a man or catch an eraser co, nema meho. Nakot naho. Antretan, a year ever honum saying he was also seriously flirting with the sister and all that. Those who were asking me what I was eating, a hey, bokina. Those of you who like bokina, it's bokina. Mm. And see, I also prepared some burkina. I'm doing needle with bread and gum because I love needle. And the taste is so 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 nice. It's so lovely. Mm. Ha. Oof. 
for Bokina. I have some, I have some Kessia pan. You see, imagine that in the beginning, this lady wasn't working. Imagine that in the beginning, she wasn't working. Imagine that uh, all these things happened without her working. Nemame already is not supporting her. And she's she's the one taking care of her own kid. Only a footy bills and everything. You see why you have to be empowered so that when situations like this come, and you no matter what. When you're empowered in marriage, you call yourself no matter what. French people will say, what you arrive, no matter what happens now. At least, or empowerment you know, would help you in a way, my dear sister. It's a very pathetic story. But I know that in the end of the day, this lady is going to be the winner because um, she's so nice, she's so humble, and she's really taking this case with so much maturity. Yensia, out of it. Yensia, yensia, we say, so out of it. Na yensia, de yensia, bought your brack a crack. Some of the stories we say, and they bring a good platform we so. Someone is talking about my lips. Okay, let me give you more lips. Mm, we are showing you now. Open my lips. Okay. You see, we have a lot of these stories on this platform. Stories. This is the second time in this week that someone is coming with a story of um, the sister sleeping with a husband. It means that this is something new with men. Before it was side chick, side chick. She said side chick has same new. She said these, these beasts, these horrible men, these immoral men are going after our own sisters our own biological sisters. It's so bad. We have to empower ourselves, my sisters. Empower women. You, your marriage is never guaranteed. Sorry. And you never know what awaits you in marriage. In situations like this, if you are not working, you fall into depression and then a name of would happen. But if you are empowered, at least it would help you in a way. You see, if she was saying, no. somebody says she wants my lipstick. This girl should be a shawdy pound. The man has no shame. Some men they don't care. And also, not only say they don't care, it's because you see, when these issues are not addressed, these men go scot free and they continue to do whatever they want to do. Imagine that, okay, imagine that we say the lady is ready for a divorce. So imagine that, okay, I know sir on it would end very soon. Because such a filthy life, such a dirty life is not supported by God. So it's just a matter of time it would end. This man would go and marry another woman. And then he will go with the same mindset. Going to sleep with a sister. Because say he can use two women at the same time. And to the earlier the better. His family would have to also know the kind of boy they brought into this world. Tamatias here. Somebody says what? You have to, sister. You have to. You see? Oh God. Women have suffered though. It's sad. It's sad.
My dear sisters, you understand the reason why I always say that we should be calm on this platform. You see what some women are going through? Maybe you are in your honeymoon, but somebody's marriage is on fire. And someone is having sleepless nights because things like this, it's happening to that person. That is why we always have to be nice to each other on platforms. People come on social media, they have so many problems, sister. People come with their problems and they want solution to their problems. Women are really suffering in this world. We also have to help women, my sisters. We have to be one. Okay, the mere fact that you don't like somebody's post don't make the person your enemy. The mere fact that um, somebody's comments irritates you doesn't mean that you should also irritate more. What's I say? We should always try and promote love. When you promote love, now Obia a benefit from it. I love you so much, but this is why I'm ending my live video. You know, I'm home the whole of this week, me with you. The whole of next week, also, I'm home. So, you'll be seeing me often with a lot of uh, friendly videos. My sisters, I love you all. Take very good care of yourselves and please be empowered. Never exchange your empowerment for love. You can love somebody and still be empowered. Okay, you can love somebody and still be empowered. Loving somebody does not change your life of being empowered. You love and you are empowered. You have both. But don't sit out of love and be doing nothing. Love can betray you. So say love, no. Oh my sister, I have long hair, Papa. I have long. You haven't seen my hair before. The other time, I have, I have long, silky hair. You haven't seen my hair? Oh, then you missed that. Yes, my sister. It's not all the time that some decisions made by these men also, you have to accept. Sometimes you know what is good for you, and you just have to learn to say, no, this doesn't favor me. Okay, so thanks to everybody. Love you all. See you later on the platform. Salam. Good night to everybody. Nyami Strobia, okay? Akuma, 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 Makuma Nenda. Akuma Nenda, Makuma Nenda, Makuma Nenda. Okay? Woman Wakuma Da, Nyami Beyama. Oh, somebody says she loves my scarf. Come for my scarf. Woo! Yes, thank you so much and good night out to you. Thanks. Bye-bye.